my top six VS Code themes. Check it out. All right, guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again one more time. Hey guys, this video is brought to you trymason.com. Mason allows you to create front end features for your applications with the drag and drop software. I tried a lot of different software that generate bloated code, but I'm really liking Mason because it produces production ready code. If I show you two pages, you wouldn't be able to tell which one was made by a developer or which one was made by Mason. I definitely recommend this for you guys that wish to save time or are focusing more on the back end because this speeds up your process when building an application. Yes, you can build this yourself, but imagine being able to create this in half the time and being able to just launch your applications as soon as possible. Somebody gives you a feature, hey, you get it done, and then now you can move on to your next project. I'm going to be giving you guys a link on my description so you guys could definitely check out trymason.com. It's a pretty legit software and it's free to try all right guys try it out all right guys the first vs code theme that i like and that i have in my top five is called pale night theme now i have this theme set up to be working with the operator uh font okay so that's why you're gonna see a lot of different sections like this that has like a div right and then the properties are in script right that's because i'm using the operator uh font okay if you guys don't know how to get it it costs like 200 something dollars to get the license but you can actually get it for free if you do your googles okay so <laughs> just do your googles man i'm not gonna tell you where it's at but do your googles all right now the next thing that we have here is how it looks on html this is what you guys are gonna be working the most and you know as a web developer this is how it looks in javascript is actually pretty nice i like it because you can actually see the difference between the variables and uh you know the different properties and also to uh whatever the value is is a different color like it really helps out you know visually to see what's going on in your code okay this is how it looks on your css pretty nice pretty simple nothing crazy and for those of you guys that like to use a python or ruby or any languages that are very similar to them this is how it looks for you guys okay now the next one that we're going to jump into is called synth wave so let me come here go in and color theme and let's go to it so synth wave 84 okay synth wave 84 is a pretty legit theme right um it's, it's a little bit different it's very colorful i'm letting you know right now ahead of time okay <laughs> you're gonna be like holy shoot this thing is colorful yes it's very colorful okay uh there's a lot of colors in it it's a lot of light blue and and purple all over the place and yellow Okay, for some people that could be a turn off, right? Because you don't want to have this thing to look like a rainbow. But sometimes it's nice, nice to look at, okay? Especially when you're working on certain applications, you might want to uh, have different colors for, um, you know, the, the imports, the class names, you know, the properties, the packages, etc. right? It's actually, it's, it's nice to look at. I don't know if you can use it all the time let's just say that all right but it's actually pretty good okay this is how it looks in javascript this is how it looks with uh css all right it's pretty nice and this is how it looks with ruby or python okay now the next one that we have here let me switch up so we're gonna switch up to another one that's one of my favorites which is noctis and noctis is actually like a collection of different themes okay so as you guys can see this is like a whole bunch of different ones right but the one that i like is really noctis viola so i'm gonna show you right now okay and let me see where is it okay this is the one that i like okay which is like a purple background but then uh the tags are in orange and you know it's pretty simple right it's nice to look at i like it you know like i said some of this colorful 
uh, themes sometimes can be a little bit annoying because it's just too much damn colors. I'll be honest. It's just too much damn colors. But, you know, it can definitely work out. So this is in JavaScript. This right here is in CSS. To be honest with you, CSS is the one that I don't like it in CSS. For whatever reason, I don't like this color the way how it looks. Okay. Uh, for Ruby, it's not that bad. This is why I use it the most. When I'm working on Ruby, I really like this type of style uh, for Ruby. Okay. Now, let me see the next one that we have here. Let's go to it. We're going to go to uh, Zionica. Okay. So we come here to Zionica. And there you go. This is plain simple. Okay. This is dark. Okay. This is definitely dark. All right. If you are somebody who, who likes to get that feeling of like, oh, I'm working on the terminal in the 1980s and, and this, this and that, like this is going to be for you. Okay. This is nice. You know, it got a lot of greens, uh, very dark colors in the background. Then from there, you know, everything just looks nice. It's like the, the code is actually popping up in front of you. Okay. So this is how it looks in HTML. This is how it looks for JavaScript. And you know, this one doesn't have that many colors. This one has, it has color, but it's not like all up in your face. Like, Hey, this is a rainbow. Okay. So it's actually pretty good. I like this one a lot. All right. Uh, another one that we have here is the CSS. This is how it looks for CSS. Uh, for CSS is a little bit, uh, uh, it's not that great for me. Cause I wish this was another color instead of gray. I usually like to see this as a color. Uh, so I know like, Hey, this is the properties. And what they did was they just made, um, the element or the class, right? Or the selector to be in white. And then this to be in gray. Mm, I'm not a big fan of that. Right. But I do like the colors for the actual values of the properties. Okay. This is how it looks for Ruby and Python. So it's not that bad. It's not great. Right. But it's actually pretty good. All right. Now, the next one that we have here, that is one of my favorite ones. OK, uh, we're going to have Outrun. OK, so Outrun is another series of of uh, themes. Right. Uh, you could check out Outrun Electric. This one's pretty nice. OK, this is how it looks with uh, HTML. OK. It's actually pretty nice. This one is one of my very favorite ones. Okay. So our run is definitely up there. Okay. Uh, then you have this other one for JavaScript. That's how it looks for JavaScript It's very simple, very clean. Okay. I wish the colors of, of, you know, the methods were different. Okay. But you know, it is what it is. Nothing's perfect. All right. Uh, let me see. This is how it looks for CSS. CSS to me, this is great. This looks amazing. Sometimes I wish I could just combine. And if somebody knows about this, is there a way to combine uh, different themes together? Like that will be great. I think somebody, if there's not a, an extension for this, somebody should create an extension for this where you could say, Hey man, I want my CSS to look with this theme. I want my JavaScript to have this other theme. I want my Python and Ruby to have this other theme. Like that would be great. Okay. If somebody knows about a theme like that or some type of extension where we can actually choose, um, the the colors or individually choose a theme for different file extensions bro you will be the man if you help me out with that okay because i love the way how css looks on this okay like is you know it's very like all in your face like hey man this is the selector here this is your property this is your values I love that. Okay. And even here, like, look how nice that looks. Hmm. Okay. Uh, this is how it looks for Ruby. See, it's not that great, right? There's not a lot of good, uh, colors schemes over here for Ruby or Python. So, you know, it is what it is. Now, the next one that we might have, how many we got? We got, uh, oh yeah, we did synth wave, no, Noctis Viola. We did, uh, Zionica, we did Outrun, we did Pell Knight. Oh, we missing one, uh, light one, which is 
sometimes you don't want to be doing stuff um, in all dark. So what I do is I use Eva Light. So I come here. Let me see. And let me see Eva, 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 Eva. Okay, go to Eva Light. There you go. This is nice. This is actually nice. Okay, sometimes when you want to switch it up and you're like, man, I'm, I'm tired of the dark themes. This right here is nice. Okay, the HTML, I'll be honest, is not great, but it's okay. Okay, uh, for JavaScript, this is nice. Okay, sometimes you want to have a lighter color. Sometimes seeing a screen with just everything dark and, and just the text and colors, like sometimes it, it, it bothers you, especially if you've been coding for hours and hours. Sometimes you got to switch it up. You got to like clean up your, your eyes. It's like a reset button. And you put on this light, uh, Eva light, and it, it looks good, man. Okay, so it's not that bad. Uh, for CSS, once again, I don't like it. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know already what I like. Okay, uh, but like I said, if you're doing a lot of JavaScript, this one was really good. Okay, for JavaScript, it's pretty legit. Uh, for Ruby, it's actually not that bad. All right, uh, but yeah, that's how it looks, man. So yeah, guys, uh, let me know in the comments below, right? And let me know like if you know an extension where you can actually choose um you know different themes for different file extensions like mm, that would be great if not just leave me a comment let me know what what vs code themes do you guys use i want to know okay i want to know to see if maybe you guys might have something even better all right i definitely have a lot of different themes set up but like i said uh usually those are the ones that i use the most and sometimes i just go back to to the original right Adam one dark, you know, sometimes I'm just like, you know what? I don't want to go fancy. Give me the, give me the default good stuff. Right. Or even you got uh material design, right. Or even the, the Monokai, right. Those are the, the OGs, right. So let me know what you guys are into. I want to know uh, what you guys are using right now. Like I said, those are the ones that I use. Eva light, Synthwave 84, Noctis Viola, Zionica, Outrun, Pale Knight. All right, guys. Uh, leave a comment below. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you leave a like. Let me know what you use. All right. All right, guys. If you're looking to learn how to code, man, go to codingphase.com, bro. $20 per month. You come in, you sign up, you could get a refund that same day if you be like, this is not for me, okay? And even at that, you got 30 days to get a refund, okay? Please don't exploit it, okay? We do that 30 days just because some people, you know how sometimes you sign up to something, you be like, oh, I think I'm going to come back to it later on, and you don't come back to like the 28th day, right? I want to be able to give you a refund if you decide, man, this wasn't for me, okay? So you got 30-day refund, um, and yeah, man, come in, come learn. Uh, it's only $20. We got over 40 courses, right? We got everything that you need. HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, uh, Ruby, uh, React. Uh, what else? Node.js. Like, yeah, over 50,000 people have taken courses from CodyFace.com. So take advantage, man. All right. It's a pretty legit spot. Okay. And yeah, man, I'll see you guys later. See boy Joe back at it again. Peace.